Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tarot here, and I thought I would do a full moon reading. So it's just a general reading for all signs to see if we can pick up some energy and messages from the full moon um, on the 5th of July. So guys, full moon reading, what do we need to know? Oh, there's money, family money, family inheritance legacy might be something that comes up uh, this week or for the next at least six months. So there might be inheritance that someone has to deal with. It might be um, just the legacy of the family. Insurance, life insurance. So come on guys, what's the full moon? So what do we have? The moon. Interesting, full moon and we have the moon. What is the moon about? You could be dealing with a Pisces, but it could be something coming up from the past. Some truths being revealed with this full moon. Light being shed on a situation. Something that happened in the dark. Um, the light being shed on it during the day. It could be about your intuition being really on point. Um, your third eye opening. It could be about um, dreams coming true. Thoughts and visions manifesting. Illusions as well. So it's it's a broad range of things for this card, but it's interesting that the moon came up. The truth coming out, guys. Knight of Pentacles. Could be about a Taurus. Could be about someone that hasn't been honest about their situation, their predicament, um, about the money that they're earning, um, about how they're earning money, uh, the truth about money being put aside or hidden. Someone using someone else's account to hide money. Hangman. Mm. This has been happening for a while. This has been happening for a while, but it's about to come out. It's been hidden. It's been kept in the dark. It's like skeletons in the closet. You know the family hiding the truth about who they really are, about what's really happening in their family. Being in limbo, waiting for the moon, waiting for the sun to come out. It's coming out, guys. And it's highlighting everything. The sun. What did I just say? The sun's coming out. The sun's coming out to highlight what's been kept in the dark. The moon and the sun. Wow. See, the cards don't lie. This could be about children. With the Ten of Pentacles, it could be about the legacy and the family. But whatever it is, you know, it's being highlighted. It's coming out into the open. Hmm. Oh, shit. Could be dealing with the Libra. Justice, balance, fairness, karma for what's gone on. Finally, look at these major cards. Look, you only have one. Um, you have four. Majors. You know, this person could get caught doing something if it's a person and they could be, the hangman could be someone going to jail. And if you're in a different country, you know, you've got to be careful where you are because some have, um, is it capital punishment? Some countries have, um, still have the death penalty. You know, you do have to be really mindful of that. So the justice card, balance, karma, truth being revealed, court, legalities, things going in your favor, things that, yeah, have taken a long time to come to light. Justice, guys. Empress reversed. Um, could be dealing with, I'm getting the energy of Taurus for some reason, but you could be dealing with a mother figure, a female figure that's not well. You could be dealing, this could be you, just stressed about what's been hidden. You know, the Empress is someone, a mother figure. She's normally someone in control. She's sometimes pregnant. This could mean there is a miscarriage. This could be mean that there's an abortion taking place um, that was kept in the dark. And that's okay, you know, it's your body. If you don't want to tell people, it's up to you. You know, we all should be able to have free will to do what we want. 
but um, the Empress is someone that could be a narcissistic woman that is finally getting her karma. You know, narcissists come in different forms. They can be women, um, and they can be really ruthless. But it could just be you off balance because of what's been going on. Or you just trying to get the truth out, and no one was listening to you, and you felt like you were hitting a dead wall. The world reversed. You know, this has taken a long time to... Um, so I do get the energy of Taurus more than anything, but it could be any of the fixed signs, Leo, um, Aquarius. But anyway, um, another major arcana, one, two, three, four, five, six major, this is huge. This could be whatever this is, it could be out in the media. I mean, and there's still obviously with the world reversed, and I'll, I'm going to flip it up right for this reading, but it could be there's just a couple more steps to take, a few more steps to take, and then this will come about. But they, they want you to know that this is what's happening. This is major stuff. It could get world recognition. It could be whatever the truth is about what's going on could um, go on TV. Let's see what crowns it. The Three of Pentacles, I do get a feeling this could be around money, about deception around money, finances, legacy, could be family money, could be business. I might just get a couple more cards. Oh, another major, Hierophon. It is about family and money, the structure. Um, it's about patriarch, matriarch. It's about um, uh, tradition. It's about marriage. Queen of Pentacles reversed, so you've got two female energies that are reversed here. Why is this woman reversed? Has someone tried to make her reversed? Has there been some kind of abuse that's coming to light? Is there narcissistic abuse? You know, we need this woman, that energy, and Taurus again, to come upright and claim her power. Or reclaim her power. I've got that reversed, but we want her to flip up, right? One more. The f another major, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of ten. So, as I said with the world, this will flip now, too. You know, someone doesn't want someone moving on, someone doesn't want someone um, creating a new life in abundance for themselves. But the, the reality is, that's the energy they're putting out, but you can block that, you know, by simply saying, you know, I mirror back any bad attention or bad energy and thoughts that are being sent to me, and I send that back with love, you know, no harm will come to me, I am protected by Archangel Michael, and anything that's sent that is of, lo of a low vibration and dishonest will be sent back to the sender, and I send that back with love, you know, that's a really powerful thing to do. I am not willing to accept other people's thoughts um, and energy. I'm not willing to accept it. Let's send it back. Wow. It is huge. I mean, this full moon is huge, guys. It's, it's huge. You know, there's karma coming. People are facing justice. People are facing court. People are facing um, the truth about what they've done. And, you know... Oh my God, look at the next one, temperance. <laughs> I can't even, you know, make this up. Knight of Swords, a reverse, that could be someone watching you. Temperance is about balance. It's about Archangel Michael. It's about, it's the same thing here. This is divine intervention. Now, this is not just, say, the police stepping in or social services or someone stepping in to help. This is God. This is the universe stepping in. You know, the universe has now taken away this person's protection because they've offered it so many times and they've decided to still run, could be dealing with a Sag, at a low vibrational energy. So, you know, the universe, God, will, will help you as much as he can um, until he has to give up. 
he practices tough love as well. And when you've got no angelic guidance and if you've got no angelic help, the truth comes out. That's why the sun's here. Wow, guys. This is a big, big full moon. And it's going to last for a while. It's going to last for a while. The energies are going to last for a while. So I thought I would do just an oracle as well. This is big. Something's coming to light. It could be with our governments. It could be within your own family structure. But whatever it is, it's big. So I'll just do an oracle card for each um, element. So fire, what do you need to know for the full moon? Or what do you need to focus on? Physical activity, um, fire signs, you need to get up, get moving, check what you're eating, drinking, um, maybe do a fitness plan. Um, if you're, if it's winter where you are, it might be not as easy, but you've got to get out. You've got to get out because it will affect your health. Air signs, air signs. What do air signs need to know? Nurture, or nature. Get out into nature. Know that you are... Um, part of this universe know that you are look at the green too. It's really healing. There's healing energy by getting out um, Some people are still in lockdown, so you can't but you know when you have the time you need to get out into nature and just nurture yourself water signs water signs Domestic harmony so a real focus on your home a focus on maybe clearing out what someone's done and creating peace and harmony whether it be cleaning up getting rid of stuff you know when you um, get rid of stuff you often manifest stuff that's new donating stuff to charity earth signs earth signs earth signs individuality you know focusing on yourself focusing on what you love focusing on what makes you happy you know Focusing on what you wear and creating your um, own style. So I'll just do a love oracle for each element as well. Fire signs, fire signs. What do you need to know for the full moon? Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Um, a lot of people have issues to do with their family, mothers, fathers. Um, you know, a lot of narcissistic men have narcissistic mothers. It's just a fact, unfortunately. Where does that come from? It comes from genera a generational curse. It comes from a generation of, or a, like a karmic, how do I say it, debt from trauma. Um, and if we don't break the cycle, the next generation, their children, or even the next life, will carry that shit with us. So you've got to heal, and you've got to cut cords, and you've got to address what's going on. Narcissism is so toxic, and um, everyone's got their own opinion, but I don't believe for one minute, you know, you are created from a narcissist. I believe you're born, you're born with something that's in your DNA, um, an attachment from a past life to make you that cruel. So you need to heal this to change, or narcissists can't change, but to break the cycle so the next generation don't um carry on your trauma so um air signs what do you need to know air signs children your love life is being affected by your children you might have young kids and you might not be able to go out as much but you know th that will change and you know focusing on your children probably is a really good thing especially if you've got family issues if you need to heal family issues air signs water signs water signs Let friends help you. Ask for and accept support from friends. Oh, from others. Um, yeah, friendship's so important. You know, even catching up for a coffee to have a chat. Not even to, like, go out to meet someone. Just chatting to a friend about how you're feeling and what's going on in your life. I think it's really important at this time. Because there's a lot going on, man. That was so many majors. It, oh, it was crazy. So, earth signs, earth signs. New love. How exciting. New love's coming in, guys, this, um, this uh, full moon. It's passionate. 
it's sent from the heavens you know this is a, a beautiful love um, after suffering you know a lot of toxic um, relationships or toxic behavior from someone else so new loves coming in I'm so excited for you so I hope this helps guys but this this um, full moon is crazy I mean look how many mages are in there victory truth it's coming out mate it's coming out guys so good luck